Hey guys, Sean C6 here. Just going to do a quick overview of the current monk build that most people are using. I'm using a little bit different of a setup. But I wanted to do a review or outline before 2.1.2 comes out and completely screws it up. So what it is, is a Sunruko's build. So basically you want to spam as much spirit as you can to cause as many of the decoys to pop out as you can. So I'm using Sunruko's shoulders, Sunruko's gloves, and a Sunruko's amulet. I'm using an Eye of Peshkov for Breath of Heaven cooldown which is more spirit which means I can spam more Sunruko's procs. I'm using Elekild's chest armor and bracers. Uh, you get the reduced damage and you also get 15% elite damage. Using a flying dragon. Uh, I got life for spirit spent on it which helps huge so I don't need to use transcendence passive. Um, when that procs you're just gaining spirit like crazy so you can spam Sanuko's like crazy. Now I'm using Blackthorn's belt, pants, and boots which with Ring of Grandeur I get the 4 piece set bonus so I don't have to worry about a few of the ground effects and typically the explosions which makes things a lot easier. And then otherwise I'm using an SOJ which isn't too great but uh, for the gems, I'm using a Gogok of Swiftness. Attack speed is good. Cooldown is good. You want around there base. So what you actually want is enough for there plus that to give you 100% cooldown and Breath of Heaven. More is bonus. I used to run more, but I don't know. And then a Mirane. It's a huge amount of damage and it procs a lot when you're going. So for my skills, we have the 100 fist, fist of fury, generate a whole bunch of spirit, breath of heaven infused with light, uh, this should be up all the time, so that's 14 additional spirit from uh, generating. Epiphany, a lot of people are using desert shroud for reduced damage. I'm using Insight for even more spirit regen. I find I don't typically die, so it's not an issue. Sweeping Wind and Storm, when it's at max, you're gaining more spirit. It's also one that we can dump to uh, Procus and Rukos. Mantra, I use Mantra of Healing. It doesn't really matter which one. I use the Life on Hit one because when Flying Dragon procs, you're at almost four attacks per second which ends up being quite a bit of life on hit. Uh, the main thing about Mantra of Healing is Shroud, you and your allies with a mystical shield that absorbs up to 62,064 damage for 3 seconds. Um, it, when you're attacking, that is basically always up, so it is a huge shield. That's like a, I don't know, 12% toughness boost every time you hit it, because They'll hit it and it'll go down, then you hit it and it'll go back up. And, and then here's where I do a little bit different. I use Blinding Flash for the 29% damage increase. Now, people typically use Dashing Strike. Eh, there's one that right there. More attack speed's always good, but I found it really annoying and the 29% is nice, so I'm going with that still. It's worked good. I've uh, got on the leaderboards. Tier 36, 13, 46. So I'm going down now. I haven't done one in a while. So right now I'm ranked 742. Which, considering that's weeks and weeks ago, it's doing pretty good. It was over, I think it was around 500 before. Just gonna do a quick rift here, and I'll show you how much the build absolutely destroys. So this is Torment Six. Hopefully, there's decent mobs and stuff, so we can get this done fast. 
So all I do, I'm really lazy with stuff. So I always want to keep Blinding Flash up when I can. Um, Breath of Heaven I want to keep up all the time. Go Gok proc preferably as much as possible. Um, Got to spam everything that dumps spirit while you're attacking. Some people use just Mantra or just Sweeping Wind until they think that they're flying Dragon procs, but I, I'm, like I said, I'm lazy, so I just spam both of them. I go in and I just hit them all. Boom. Stuff dies really fast. Like, this is Torment 6. Oh, yeah, that's hard. The only thing that I do wish I had dashing strike for is, like, times like that. But, I don't find it to be worth it. More than 29% damage increase for times like that. And then this is why I use Blackthorns. That doesn't hurt me at all, so... I don't have to worry about accidentally exploding or getting out of it if I'm walled or something like that. Arcane can hurt. Typically on T6 stuff isn't an issue. High greater rifts, it's obviously going to hurt more, but I mean, what doesn't in high greater rifts? So, for 2.1.2, which is coming out whenever um, they are changing Sanuko's set so just off the top of my head they're gonna be making uh, spirit spenders with the the 4 piece set bonus spirit spenders are going to proc a little Sanuko's proc which is I believe a thousand damage and then everything hit by that Sunwuko's proc takes an additional 500% damage from those spirit spenders. So, uh, I don't know. I, like, I can see there being some really good builds with it. My only issue is with, like, the new Barb set and the new Demon Hunter set. They left the old sets. They didn't get rid of one of the other sets to do that new proc, but that's what they're doing with Sun Wukos. They're getting rid of Sun Wukos current as it is and putting the new new stats on it again. So, okay, that's all fine and well. We're going to get a better build, maybe. And the problem comes when... I don't have a build to farm with when it goes live. So if all of a sudden I'm wearing all this stuff, they change the build, this character could be completely useless. So I don't know, we'll see. I'm curious what people figure out on the PTR. Uh, I don't know, hopefully I can get some gear. That'll uh, make it so I can have a build. I don't want to be completely screwed. Monk is completely my favorite. I have more than the rest of my account just in Monk. <clears throat> so it'd be kind of annoying not even being able to be as good as before the patch. That's supposed to hypothetically make it better. So, as you can see, sorry about my buddy Colin. As you can see, this is getting absolutely destroyed. So we'll just uh, clear this out real fast and then I'll have something to kind of compare to for after the patch. This is a well, fairly average rift, I'd say. I'm not sure how long it is actually taking. I could look, but I'm probably too lazy. I'll just uh, I'll just let it go as long as it does, and 
That's what we can go with. Oh shit. Fairly average rift and then not any mobs. That's good. Ah, I'll call you in a minute. So, get this killed. So yeah, I posted it one while back before I got a nice flying dragon and everything in this build figured out. And, uh, I don't know. That one's not as good. It might be even lazier. <clears throat> but, it doesn't do the damage or anything that this one does. This is the one that you can do high grade of rifts and destroy T6 with so this is what I'm going with for now hopefully I can get something figured out for 2.1.2 uh, and uh, thanks for watching any questions feel free to ask I'll uh, answer everything I can and uh, have a good one